Hello and welcome Libra. I am Pisces Intuition here with your weekly reading. Alright, so Libra, keep in mind this is a general reading, so not everything is going to resonate with your situation. And that's okay. You take what does and don't worry about the rest. Um, we're going to be taking a look into... I need to tell you something. So Libra, somebody needs to tell you something. So we're going to find out what it is, what this person's been holding back... And keep in mind, this doesn't have to just be a relationship. It could be a friendship. It could be a situationship of any kind. All right. And there goes that lovely train. <laughs> All right, so we have the Ace of Swords here on the bottom of the deck. Um, right away, I heard, like, making decisions, but I heard clarity. We have the Two of Wands, we have the Hierophant, we have the Ace of Coins, and we have the Three of Cups. Okay, so I feel like there's been some kind of confusion within a partnership or within some kind of, you know, relationship or situationship here. Um, could possibly kind of wonder, like, where you stand with this person. Do they have feelings for you? Uh, you know, like, is this going to, you know, is this going to last? Like, are we going to, you know take things to the next level. Are we going to be a couple? Like, you know, I keep getting like a ton of questions here. Um, a lot of indecision in this partnership with the Hierophant. I do feel like somebody does want commitment while the other person, I don't feel is quite ready to do that yet. I do feel like this person wants to build, but it feels like they're kind of waiting on you, um, or they're waiting for the right time. So this person could really be focused on their finances, could really be focused on, um, what seems kind of like trivial to you, just kind of like, you know, you're working an awful lot. Like, you know, and I don't feel like they're telling you why. I don't feel like they're telling you why they're saving money or why they're working a lot or things like that, but it's because they want to build with you. Um, with the three of cups, I keep getting this as coming in as like taking things to the next level. So possibly like moving in together. Um, this could be like an engagement. Um, you know, this could be something pretty big here, but I feel like, you know, Libra, they want to take things to the next level and they're kind of figuring out how to do so. Like they're working extra hours, making that money, making sure they have enough savings, um, you know, things like that. I keep getting, like I said, engagement for somebody. I also keep getting somebody finding out that they are pregnant, um, by the end of this month, possibly going into next month sometime, somebody finds out they're pregnant. Okay. That kind of came out of nowhere, but we're going to take it because it's for somebody here. All right, Libra. So what else is this person telling? What's the indecision all about? Yeah, so <laughs> two of wands is clarified by the two of swords. Seven of cups and six of wands. Hmm. I feel like they're... And, okay. I almost said I feel like they're looking at um, all their options. I don't feel like it's people. So let me just clarify that for one. I feel like when I say they're looking at, you know, like all their options, they're looking at, at like how to go about things. Where do I start first? Taking the first steps. So that's what I mean by that. I don't feel like this person is looking at other people. I don't feel like their heart is torn in two different directions. I'm not getting that. Um, I'm just getting like, you know, the first steps. But I, I do feel like, you know, this is coming through as you know, them recognizing like what they want, what makes them happy. But now how do I get that? How do I move this forward? How do we take things to the next level? So it feels like your person is really planning here, Libra. It's like they're trying to get your attention um, as far as like, because it kind of feels like somebody wants you to see like all the hard work that they're putting in. That way it just kind of makes sense. Yeah, see, and then we have the Two of Pentacles, the Ten of Swords, and we have the Eight of Pentacles here. Um, hmm. For some of you, you have a past with this person. For some of you, I keep getting like you've even been kind of like, you know, thinking maybe we should just kind of end this. Because I keep getting frustration, I keep getting um, like a balancing act, much like that, kind of juggling. I keep getting like two people being on, um, not necessarily two different pages, because it's like you both want the same thing, I feel. Like you both want commitment. I do feel like somebody's like kind of harboring a lot of pain though. That's what I'm trying to figure out, is this someone from your past? that maybe you reconciled with, 
or is this just kind of you feeling like, you know, a little bit ignored because this person is putting in so much work because like I said, they're not seeing it as a bad thing because they know what their goal is. Like what, you know, what the end game is, but you don't. But I feel like you're noticing this person being a little more frugal working extra hours. I feel like it's starting to cause, yeah, even some arguments, but it's not what it seems. We have the five of wands, we have the moon card and we have the knight of wands. So it kind of does feel like somebody is worried about the other person cheating. Um, kind of like, you know, is this person really working extra hours? You know, is what is, where's, you know, this person used to take me out to dinner, used to wine and dine me. And now, you know, they're, they're being, like I said, kind of extra frugal here. So like, what's going on? I feel like there's definitely some unanswered questions. It may feel like, you know, there's some competition here. Um, I do feel like, again, somebody is worried about the other person cheating or possibly just losing interest. Um, there's a lot of chemistry, a lot of passion between the two of you, but there's a lot of confusion because lack of communication. Hmm. Three of Cups, please. Three of Cups. We have the Page of Swords. We have the Ten of Pentacles. And we have the Three of Swords. Okay. Mm. I'm getting a lot of curiosity. But I'm also getting a lot of withheld uh, communication. Again, it almost kind of feels like you could possibly be dealing with someone who's kind of a little bit of a workaholic. Um, I keep getting a lot of pressure, a lot of stress, and I don't know if it's just because of holidays, if it's just because of this situation, um, because they do, like I said, want to take things to the next level with you. Um, and I hate saying this, but it's almost kind of coming through as somebody wanting to propose, like on Christmas, like in front of family. Like, I feel like this person is really kind of going above and beyond, like taking things to the next level. And you don't understand like why are you know, like it to you, it's kind of coming off as like this person's either ignoring you or just distant, um, you know, working a lot, you know, things like that. But it just feels like it's temporary. It doesn't feel like it's, it's going to last like that. You know what I mean? Um, but I do feel like somebody is feeling kind of heartbroken. Somebody is feeling, you know, some pain again, kind of wondering like, is my person cheating on me? I'm not necessarily getting cheating. I just get like the third energy is your person's goal that they're trying to attain, but it's like a goal for both of you. Um, <laughs> so it's kind of coming through really weird. I don't think I've ever had one come through like this. But yeah, but like I said, I'm, I'm not getting cheating. For most, like, for the people I'm picking up on this for, like, I'm not getting cheating. Um, however, because that's the main thing that's coming through to me, but I do see another relationship that is kind of struggling. Uh, lack of communication. I do feel the person is very distant, is pulling away. And I do feel like this person is having an affair possibly with someone at work. And I feel like you know that. I feel like you suspect that. And I feel like you're kind of like, you know, yeah, this is confirmation. But I also feel like you're going to be getting some other kind of sign, either finding a text message um, or like um, something on social media, like something. I feel like you're going to be seeing some kind of message about this person. I'm not picking up on that too strong. Like I said, the, the main thing that was coming through was definitely the good part of what your person wanted to tell you, um, which is that proposal and, you know, this and that. But like I said, I am getting a little bit of somebody that is stepping out. Um, so not everybody's going to resonate, you know, but again, it's a general reading, but I do feel like, you know, if you have been struggling within your partnership and don't jump to conclusions, okay, this is really important here, Libra. Um, because like I said, for some of you, this person is to you appearing to pull away, but in reality, they're just really focused on, like I said, that, that end game on that goal and what they want to achieve with you. But there is some lower, you know, um, lower energy, I guess I should say. I'm not sure exactly what you want to call it that I'm picking up onto where somebody is like disconnecting 
because they are having an affair. And like I said, it kind of feels like this person is having an affair with someone they work with. But like I said, if you've already been suspecting that, this may just be the confirmation. But like I said, I think the deal like the deal breaker or, you know, like the main thing that's going to be coming through is you're going to be seeing a message on social media or a text, something usually your person is very private with their phone um, or they'll change like their screen lock or thumbprint, like stuff like that. Um, but I get they're very private with their phone. But I feel like somehow, like, it's left there, or they'll delete everything, or, um, but somehow, for some reason, like, that's left there, and you come across it, and you find out, and you get your confirmation. Okay, so that ball is definitely in your court. Um, two completely opposite scenarios here for Libra. Libra, go figure, you know. <laughs> um, but that is what's coming through, so let's get some Oracle here. So we have cycles. So for some of you, maybe you've been in a cycle before. Maybe you're kind of recognizing some signs. Um, awakening, again, this is taking things to the next level. We have nostalgia, which, you know, again, that's kind of being in your memories. Um, really feeling connected to somebody. We have observer. And I kept getting somebody watching social media um, or something strongly about social media. So again, this could be a number of things. This could be you kind of stalking your person, wondering what the heck they're doing. This could be, um, <laughs> you know, like on social media again, and that's how you catch some messages. That's how you get your confirmation. Um, for others of you, there could be somebody else that's watching your relationship. I'm not sure why that's coming through that way, but that's what I keep getting with that card. With pride and ego, you know, again, it kind of feels like this person um, is very prideful, you know, sometimes, you know, but I kind of feel like it's you two getting in your pride and ego, kind of overthinking in a way. Um, but again, I, I'm getting like two completely separate relationships here. So like I said, just make sure you don't overreact. Make sure like you kind of gather your evidence first or, you know, like you, you follow that gut instinct. You know what I mean? Um, because yeah, karmic partner. So again, somebody could possibly be cheating, could possibly have a karmic partner on the side, um, you know, while they have a family with you. Um, you know, I also see family as far as like getting together holidays, things like that. And I also kept getting, like I said, somebody around Christmas time, I'm proposing to somebody because all the family would be there. We also have divine feminine, which, you know, again, this is knowing your worth. This is, again, taking things to the next level, going through some kind of awakening to awaken that inner uh, divine feminine. Communication, again, I kept feeling communication was definitely lacking on, in like, both um, situations. And then we have union. So, like I said, I do feel like even though there's a lack of communication in one of the situations, there's really going to be like, there's preparation for like a really big union, um, you know, commitment, like I said, moving in together, engagement, something like that. So you're definitely going to have to use your own discernment to see which one you're, you know, like which situation you're in. <laughs> but that's what I keep getting here. And that's what they want to tell you. Um, the person that's cheating, they don't necessarily want to tell you, but you're going to find out. All right, let's get some relationship oracle or some love oracle reconciliation so like i said i do feel like things are you know fixed um when you finally figure out kind of like what's going on uh let your friends help you you know again i feel like there's going to be family there's going to be friends around um you know for the happier situation of course but i do feel like you know again this is figuring things out, working uh, things out, working together, things like that, but then realizing what was actually going on. Honeymoon, so enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. Again, being with your boo during the holidays for sure. Um, but I also feel like this is a card of travel. This is also a card of, you know, when I, I keep getting, like I said, engagement that keeps coming through. Um, you know, I keep getting travel. I keep getting that honeymoon kind of just bliss, you know, that, um, that blissful state when you're, you know, just together. All right. So this could be a new like honeymoon, um, again, traveling together, you know, even just traveling together for the holidays, things like that. But I keep getting travel very strongly here. 
All right, so what else does this person want to say to you? I just want you to be happy no matter what. I wasn't ready for you or a relationship. I'm kind of feeling like this is the situation where I was picking up on about the cheating. Um, this connection is intense. You are my soulmate. All right, bottom of the deck, I can't let you go. Or I can't let, yeah, I can't let you go without saying how I feel uh, completely. I do feel like, again, um, if your partner does have somebody on the side or something, I do feel like, because it's not coming across like they're actually, like, ha I don't want to say happy about it. Oh, how is this coming across? Like, um, they're proud of it, but it's just kind of like, I don't feel like this person was ready for you. I don't feel like, again, I kept getting a lot of um, struggle. I did get, like, competition, like this person leaves to, uh, likes to leave their options open. Um, but I do feel like, you know, they want you to be happy I, no matter what, but it kind of just feels like, but I can't do it right now because I'm not ready for you or a relationship. And that's what I keep getting for, you know, one situation while the other situation, they're kind of saying like, this connection is intense. I know you're my soulmate and that's why I want a future together. So that's what keeps coming through. Let's get... some initials of the person that you could be dealing with. So there's R, S, there's N, there's an L, there's a G, and there is a D. All right, so there are some initials of the person that, you know, it's possible that you are dealing with, and um, that could just be extra confirmation there. Um, so yeah. All right, well, Libra, that is what I have for you. So thank you so very much for watching. I do appreciate it. Um, as always, have a great week ahead and take care.